<sighs> we all wish there were a Dumbledore or Gandalf-like character in our lives. A wise, old, bearded gentleman we would follow anywhere. Dr. Bill Higgins is one of those people. Through his 64 years of experience, Dr. Bill has acquired many skills as an electrician and a businessman. His words of wisdom can help any problem, and his sense of humor never ceases to brighten the day. In the year 2016, I was hospitalized for two weeks with appendicitis, with a machine feeding me nutrition and very little making life worth living. Dr. Bill and his family were a few of the rocks that kept me going through every day. Even if it was just a hand I needed to hold, he was right there, ready to help with anything. The first thing you'll notice about Dr. Bill is his caring nature and compassion for others. And because of his personal experience through the years, Dr. Bill has a wealth of knowledge that many people turn to. And most of all, his sincerity is the reason most people feel appreciated by him. At the age of 64, he still runs his own electrical business to provide for his family. Some would see him as a stubborn old man, unwilling to retire. His care for his loved ones goes above and beyond the call of duty or the expectations anyone would have of, of a man his age. The compassion he shows for others is like a lit bulb, if you will, in our otherwise dark world. He's willing to crawl through dusty vents and those places we never want to visit in the corners of our house just so that he can put food on the table for his loved ones. His physical appearance, appearance may seem slow, but he can rewire panels like a musician vigorously playing the piano with hands flying all over the place. He pushes his old body to the limits just so that he can provide for the ones that he loves. On top of that, he has all of the stress of running his own business and come tax season, he lets everyone know that it's no cakewalk but he's still willing to do it. And because he runs his own business, he has a wealth of knowledge to back up everything that he does from his own personal experience. As soon as you meet him, his Gandalf-like beard and deep voice captivate your attention so you cannot help but listen to everything that he says. <sighs> because, he has all the ex because he has all of that personal experience, he can speak to things that you otherwise wouldn't know. Whenever engaged in a conversation, his words of wisdom will leave you wanting more. But it doesn't show off this encyclopedia he has for a brain. Uh, more often than not, uh, he does not glorify his knowledge, but rather uses it to help others in their experiences. He's always willing to share if you need any advice. Whether you're an intellectual wanting to have a riveting conversation or just need some tips on how to make your own fries, which he does. Dr. Bill has something to say about anything. Compassion and wisdom are good qualities, but Dr. Bill's sincerity is really what makes people feel appreciated and heard by him. He points out his own failures just to make a point or reference something else. He has a lot of integrity and is perfectly fine pointing out that he's flawed. He takes time out of his day to sit down and talk to someone who is in need or someone who just needs another person to listen to. His devotion to friends, devotion to family, and devotion to those in need is unmatched by many people. His secret? Don't always think of things that other can do, others can do for you, but rather what you can do for them to brighten their day. That was one thing he told me many years ago, and it stuck with me ever since. I can talk forever about my good friend, Dr. Bill, but these qualities give a picture of what kind of person he is his caring nature and compassion, his wisdom and sincerity really make him an outstanding person to get to know. If you ever get the chance to meet him, which unfortunately I don't think many of you will, I would recommend taking time out of your day to just sit and listen to him. This man has been through a lot and has a lot to say, uh, and that is why he's the person I picked for this speech. And with that, that's all I have. Thank you.